Hey guys, so I finally did it. What did I finally do? I finally created my YouTube channel. I was taking so long to do this and I read an article yesterday. I, I, I watched a, a video actually, a YouTube video. And it said, you know, stop trying to make things perfect. Just shoot a video and release it. So I finally decided, okay, let me just do it. Even if it doesn't come out perfect, it's gonna be my first YouTube video for the for my event videography channel I'm trying to help videographers in the community you know give them some insight on on the job and, and you know what it takes to be successful in this business so a little bit about me I've been shooting for a long time it's been over 10 years um, and I've shot way over 500 weddings I've shot a ton of corporate gigs I've done every type of event you could think about. I've done a lot in my career. I enjoy what I do. Um, it's not an easy job, but once you get the hang of it, uh, and if you like what you do, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it. I mean, the pay is definitely decent, and you get to meet a lot of interesting people. And um, you know, it's a job. It's a job to help pay the bills. So, um, I love it for the most part most of it so obviously it has its ups and downs right so in this segment I wanted to create um, people who have been following me on Facebook know that I've been going live from my phone so um, um, usually when I go to an event if I have time before I start because I get there early I will take on my phone and I will talk about you know what I'm gonna shoot whether it's a wedding or whatever it is and um, I'll talk about um, the equipment that I'm using and, and what I foresee the day might be like, you know, and sometimes it goes good, sometimes it, it doesn't go too good because of um, sometimes events run late and, and I'm running up and down. Obviously, I'm still capturing good stuff, but I'm just saying that the whole experience of the day, that's what I'm talking about. So um, I told my followers on Facebook that I was going to um, show them some more in-depth stuff, meaning the shots that I actually captured on some of the live stuff that I did. You know, I, obviously in the live stuff, I can't really show anything, I'm on, I'm on my phone. So they can't see the actual shots I'm getting. And I wanted to go over this specific job, and I'm gonna go over a lot more. I'm gonna go over weddings and stuff, but this first one I choose, I, it's Bria's launch party I did on June 30th, 2021. And this series is called How It Was Captured. So it's gonna be a lot more different events of how I captured it, uh, the equipment I use and all of that, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up the first clip and, um, and we're just gonna talk about it. So first of all, let me pull it up. Let me transition over here. All right, so this is, I think, probably one of the first clips I shot for the day. And in these clips, you only need, um, you only need five seconds of good stuff. Okay, so let me get back here. Right, so you only need five seconds of good stuff. So I will be, I'm shooting slow motion, and as you can see, the editor could find a lot of five seconds of stuff in this clip. Let's go to the next clip. This one, I think I just punched in. I'm using the A7 III here. I'm shooting slow motion in the camera. I'm using a Tamron 28 to 75, I believe it is. And um, I just punched in closer and I'm just panning over it. And you can see how smooth the footage is because it's it's slow motion, it's, it looks really good. Um, obviously, this clip is about 20, 30 something seconds. All I need is a good five seconds of each because when, when the editor is editing, he doesn't use 30 seconds of the clip, right? So let's go to the next one. This one, I was just looking to do something a little bit creative. I was panning from the bottom of the table up to the top, same, same setup here and the editor will decide which one he wants to use. Let's go to the next one. 
Uh, let me see what this is. This is the backdrop. And let me just pause this for a sec. The lady who set up this backdrop, damn, I, I should have the names down here. But I think I'll put it in the description of all the, the vendors for this event. So this was a product launch and they had vendors there. Um, a lady doing the flowers and she also did the backdrop. And they had a band. The band was awesome. They had um, a photo booth and they had food. <laughs> you know, you need food, right? And the bar, obviously. So I think these vendors actually sponsored the help sponsor the, the launch. So maybe there's a, there's a discount. There was a discount involved, something like that. So um, I got paid my, my regular fee, but the company that I work for, they probably provided a discount so they can um, get exposure, all right? Um, so let's continue with this clip here. And let's see what we got, all right? And I was just, I was just panning across, trying to get something, you know, nice and smooth with the name, with the backdrop. And I think I panned back down to the flowers. Just trying to get something in the foreground. I was trying to get kind of a, a reveal, not a foreground. And I just, this was an autofocus. I could have done it in manual focus also. And, and that's it. And let's go to the next clip. All right, the next clip is uh, I did a second shot of this and I was just doing um, a reveal, another reveal. Let's go to the other one. Next clip I went on, obviously this is the beginning of the clip, so I probably hit the, tri the, the monopod and it's shake, but obviously he won't use that part. He would use something around here when it's panning back through the leaves. I always look for something, if I can, in the foreground. It just makes it look so dynamic. So something like this looks really good. And, um, and I just pan back, you know, just for, to make sure I got something good. Uh, let's go to the next one. All right. This one is, I just wanted to get a wide shot of the, I can get it on the level. I'm actually on a, on a higher level right here. I can get it down below because my lens wasn't wide enough and the distance between the backdrop and, and in front of the backdrop is really short. So I had to go on top and that's how I have a top down look. All right, let's get another shot here. So this was actually, hold on. So this was done at the venue and this was 74 white, which, in a, which is um, an event space. And if you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my computer. I'm looking at the, the clips that you're looking at. So, um, but this is a 74 white. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice event space. I liked it. I like it, but there, it was really hot. I'll, I'll talk about that later on in the video. But they actually painted the, I don't know, this is a, something about the product. What if pleasure produced beauty and, that's, and I and I shot this I just saw it and I'm like wow this looks good this is a good idea and then it has the at Bria Beauty you know so people can look it up on the net and um, you know and and tag it whatever people do you know I'm not <laughs> I'm not very versed in social media but um, I, 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 I have to I have to get more involved with it okay so that's it. I just got a pen and then I think I, I got another pen. Let me switch to another clip. Okay. So I changed the exposure to, to make it brighter because I thought it was a little bit, a little bit dark. So I did a second shot and I changed the exposure to, to brighter. So I stopped the camera, stopped the recording, restarted the recording and just did it over. All right. This doesn't even take like five seconds to do. So when you shoot in slow motion, the clips look longer than they actually are. Okay. So just a note about that. But I love, I love shooting with slow motion. And this is in camera. Let's go to the next clip. I think I was trying to do, I was trying to do um, a rack focus with autofocus, but autofocus was not working. Um, I, I think maybe I was too close to the, to the stairs and I was too, too close within the, 
the range. And um, I eventually got it to work. This usually doesn't happen with this camera and lens, but it, somehow it happened. So let me go to the next clip. Eventually it, it focused at the end, like now. Okay, right, like that. So you could use that part, just cut out the, the beginning. And when I said you can use that part, I'm talking about the editor. So this one actually had, so this one was actually not in slow motion because when you're doing a, um, a rack focus without a focus um, and you're using slow motion, it actually takes too long um, not to focus. Even if it focuses in fast, obviously with slow motion, it slows it down. So it kind of takes long. So if you're doing a rack focus, it's best to just do it with, um, without slow motion. All right. So let's switch to the next clip. This one was just um, items on the table for the decor with some words in it. it. said, light your own damn fire, which I like, at Beer Beauty. And um, it was pretty cool. I liked, I liked that. So I just said, let me get a nice close up. I just zoomed in with this 24 to 75, 20, 28 to 75 camera on. I just zoomed in and then I punched in with the um, APS-C crop and that's what I did. I just panned over it. Okay, let's go to the next one. And this was also on the table and this was um, just showing all the, let me pause it for a sec. This was showing all the, the vendors for for um for this event and host is beer beauty venue 74 white planning is rock rakshasina photo is alan zepad photo the band was jordan can orchestra that band was good so if you have an event like a wedding or any other event i definitely would recommend i'm i'm in a uh, a good spot where I can <clears throat> I can actually recommend venues and bands because I've been to so many tons and I know when when it's good when I hear a band I love music music is my first love even though I can't play any in any instruments but I just love music I think it's the best thing that was ever created in the world um, so that band was pretty good. The lead singer, she sung um, Whitney Houston. I think it was I Want to Dance with Somebody. Whoa. She was good. Okay. The band was good. And the sound coming out from the speakers were also good. Because sometimes you go and there's a band and the sound just sounds horrible. Even though the people could sing, but uh, the, the sound is just bad. Uh, the, the sound engineers just didn't do a good job. Okay. So let's go to catering. Marcius Marcius Selden catering and um, the catering was was funny right it was good I didn't have any I didn't have any food but when I said it was good that they were bringing out a lot of food you know usually you go and they were actually bringing out trays right and I have some shots I'll show you but they were actually bringing out a lot of food. I was like, wow, they're coming out fast. As soon as they go back, they bring out another one, another tray, another tray. Yeah, usually they don't come out, they don't bring out that much food and they don't do it that fast, especially for an event like this, you know, but they were. So, you know, kudos to the to the catering team. They were awesome. Um, photo booth guy was really nice. He was cool. This is Studio Z, photo booths. And the floral was designed by A. A H N. I uh, can't even pronounce it. A H N N Y C. Those flowers are beautiful. I even asked her, I'm like, is these flowers even real? She was like, yeah, they're real. They, they were they were amazing. Um, next one was um, Help Partner, Vow Network. I didn't I didn't notice them. Video was moi, obviously. Um, NSD photos and um, and they hired me to, to shoot it um, so great company and I did awesome work on this job and um, we have decals by do event decals do event decals alcohol by two robbers and uh, beauty by beautini 
So Butini was created by the same lady who created, um, and her name is escaping me now. Don't worry, I'll, her name is going to come to me before this video is over. She created Butini and she, she just launched this product, which is, uh, <laughs> it's, it's uh, not a makeup line, a uh, skincare line, skincare. So she does makeup and just created a skincare line and she just launched it and this is what it was about. All right, so let's continue this clip. And I was just, I just get kind of close, just pan up, you know, just get a shot so the edit, editor could use it if he wants to. I try to capture everything. So whatever they have, any, any decor, I try to get it, whether I'm at a wedding, a product launch or whatever, I try not to miss anything, okay? So once I get there, I'm working. I'm, I'm working hard. I'm, I'm trying to get good stuff. I'm not just pointing the camera and hope I get good stuff. I, I'm, I'm really making sure I really get good stuff. Okay, so they're getting their money's worth when they hire me. All right, so let's go to the next clip. Okay, this one was just, I had flowers in the foreground and I was just panning left and right with the, the beer logo in the, the beer logo in the, in the background. You know, just uh, not a clip. They can use if they want to and let's go to the next so this one they actually had i went to get this shot on the stair right because they had welcome to be a um, beauty or something like that right and i said let me go get this shot i was actually walking i saw it but then everyone was coming up the stairs i didn't get to go get the shot it was dark inside that 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 um staircase so i said let me just get people feet going up Past the uh, past the name, and that's what I did. I just grabbed. It's good. So they can use a shot as uh, as people entering, you know, the event. So yeah, I just did that, and then that was it. Let's go to the next one. Next one is okay. This is just um, people interacting. And I think there was a part, obviously we won't use this in the edit, right? But there's a part where she smiles and it looks really good. Let me see. It's coming up. Let's see. This is all in slow motion. That's why it looks so now. Look at this. Look at this beautiful smile. Yes, you see? So this could be used in the edit. Looks great. She's right be in front of her. A backdrop with her logo there and it looks great all right just wanted to show you that clip let's go to the next one this one I just say uh, let me get the musicians so I got the musicians and 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 that was it I just got a little quick shot of the musicians and let's go to the next one and this was the <laughs> this was the audio I mean the audio sorry this was um, drinks so the server was serving some drinks to the people who were coming in now let me mention okay this day was really hot when I say hot it was hot and the venue has um, glass I believe it was glass at the top you know it was extremely hot I mean I was sweating from my head to my toes I'm not even exaggerating I was soaking wet it was so hot in there now this is a rooftop so it's difficult a uh, I don't think they could put an AC in there so they had fans but in order to stay cool you had to go right next to the fan okay and when you go to the fan it was it was giving off some nice cool air it was good but in general walking around there plus I was working with all of that oh my god it was so hot um, but you know, I did what I had to do. You know, I, I took the heat and uh, I did my job, so it worked out. All right, let's go to the next clip. Let me see this one in the beginning. I guess I was just um, I was hitting. I wanted to show you this because <laughs> not because they're gonna use it, but he was opening I think a wine bottle, champagne, and it. It flew up 
Let's see if it's gonna show. Maybe I gotta go forward. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna skip forward. Okay, okay, it just happened. I missed it. Okay, so he's opening up. Did he open it? Nope. He's gonna open it. Okay, open it. <laughs> All right. So, let's see, let's see. Um, Okay, let's see. He's gonna open it now and watch. The the the, the top of the, the bottle is gonna fly off. Alright. It's taking it's taking forever because it's slow motion. Okay, this is not it. Let me skip forward. Okay, it's gonna happen now. <laughs> you see? You you missed it. I missed it too. So the 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 cork of the the bottle flew off the top. It didn't hit anyone, and it was obviously an accident. But wow. Let's go to the next clip. So this 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 shot actually shows you how hot it was because this guy was one of the servers, and look at his back soaking wet. He had on a shirt with, with um, the, the beer um, logo on it, beer name, and he was soaking wet, just like I was. So I, I wanted to show this, this clip just for that. So this is definitely not going to be used in the edit. I just wanted to show you this. So let's skip to the next one. All right, and the next one we have, I just wanted to show people hugging and kissing and all that and this is good this is good for the edit really good for the video all this is in slow motion obviously it's in slow motion and it just looks very fluid people are happy people are smiling and people are hugging this is really good for for the video you know this is what people want to see you know for a product launch people are happy to to be there right okay let's switch to the next clip Next one, this is actually the photo boot. And the photo boot was actually just a white background. And I saw the, I saw the result, um, the images, the edited images, and it looked good. Yeah, just a white background, and everything looked good. So on the photo boot, they, they had uh, the Bria, um, Bia logo. I know I'm saying Bria, I believe it is Bia, B-E-I-A, so. Um, I was trying to pan over, but what I should have did was I should have pressed, I should have get the focus on them, right, from the beginning, press manual focus and then pan, so it wouldn't focus on the light when I come to the back, right? Um, so the autofocus is on and it would focus on the light and focus on them, I mean, which is fine, but typically you don't want it focused on the light. Um, but I wanted to focus on the back. Let me skip. I'm skipping forward here. See, they're having fun here. They're putting up peace signs. All right. All right. <laughs> so they're having fun. All right. Let's skip forward. I'm skipping forward. And then I'm going to pan over. Did I pan over? I think I did. So you're going to see the logo on the back of the skip forward. And this was the um, this was the guy who was man in the photo boot, and as you see me pan here, you can see the be a logo there, and then I panned over, and you can see them having more fun. All right, excellent. So let's go to the next image. And two robbers were was the the sponsor for the alcohol, so I wanted to get a shot of obviously the. To drink the cans on top of the counter, and that's what I did. I kind of zoomed in. I think the the guy who was serving was right there, so I didn't really want to get him in the shot. And if I did get him, which I did, he's out of focus, so which is good. So I just wanted to get a quick pan shot of the drink, so they can use in the video if they want to. All right, let's go to the next. Next one, we have some more hugging and kissing and all of that, which is great. Um, a lot of times um, shooting, this was on a rooftop, although it had a, a semi-cover, 
they were shade and bright. So it's challenging where some parts are, are, are blown out and some parts are not. So, you know, you got to kind of be careful how you're shooting in, in this instance. I think there was some more hugging and kissing here. Okay, what was I doing? Let me let me see. People were sitting there. People were eating. I wanted to capture the food uh, being handed out because the food um, I zoomed in there, and that's definitely not going to be used. And you know, let me just pause it for a sec. When I'm zooming on this this camera lens combination, it's not good um, because the zoom ring is kind of not easy to zoom which could be good and could be bad and this situation is bad but obviously I, I, I'm not intending for the part where I'm zooming to be on video so that's going to be cut out once the editor is editing you know he's not going to use that I'm just trying to get a closer shot to um, to get a different a different um, perspective so then I zoomed in and then I went down and and get a um, it's going to focus in right now. I'm going to get a close-up of the food that they can use in the video. And that was it. That's why I zoomed in. Let's go to the next clip. Next one is um, our host in that beautiful outfit, um, purple and blue and something. And she's standing there. I adjusted my exposure. Obviously, this is not going to be used. I'm just showing you behind the scenes. All these footage is raw. Nothing is edited here. So obviously you're going to see um, parts of the stuff that's not going to be used. Okay. I'm just giving you insight so that you know what happens, exactly what happens when you shoot an event. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next clip. All right. This is another clip of the food. Food being handed out. I think I went in closer. Let's zoom in. Let's. Okay. Let's jump forward. Okay, so she's handing out the food. That's good. This can be used, definitely. And now let's go to the next clip. Next one, uh, we had the, the be signs all over the venue, which was good. You know, the venue is very customizable, which is great, you know, um, especially for product launches. So this was just on there, and I decided to just get a, a shot of that. But the glass is a little, let me pause. The glass is a little dirty, and I only see it right now, um, so more than likely that shot wouldn't be used. But um, you know, I just, I just capture everything that's there, and I'm not gonna go clean the glass to, <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna go clean the glass to, uh, to then shoot it. You know, I just shoot whatever is there, um, and that's it. So this was actually bags that were being handed out. I, I believe it had um, a couple of products inside of it, so they were handing out like. What do you call it? Um, party bags, goodie bags, doggy bags. I don't know what they call it, but they were handing it out to, to the guests. And I just say, let me get a quick shot of it. So let me just play this clip here. And what if pleasure produced beauty? Pleasure does produce beauty. Like when you have kids, beautiful kids, and you had pleasure and you, you, know, you, you produce your kids. So yes, but I think they're talking about skincare in this case. So. Let's get to the next one. Oh, you, you saw that, right? I got somebody hand. Hold on, let me let me scroll back. So I got somebody hand. Well, I got a little piece of the hand picking up the bag, which was cool. I, I wish I got more of the hand. But all these things are just happening in, in the moment, you know. Um, I'm just capturing what's going on organically. Okay, let's get to the next clip. Next one, I'm up above, I'm high up, and I saw... Brittany, her name is Brittany, Brittany Lowe, that's her name. She was very nice, and um, it was. This is about her, and this is her product launch, and she's the one that created um, Butini. So I saw her on the phone, 
and I think she probably was on social media. So I wanted to zoom in and just get a shot of her looking at that phone there, you know, in her own element. So I wanted to capture this. So I'm, I'm still adjusting the, the gimbal and the camera at this time. I think she's going to walk backwards or turn around in, in a couple of seconds. You're going to see that. Mm, any minute now? Should I skip out? Okay, I think she's doing it now. Yes. So she starts. I guess she's 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 turning around and she's looking. She's showing someone, I guess. Oh, she's looking at herself. So this is a nice little shot here. Okay, and that's it. I said, let me just capture that. I just saw it and I said, turn the camera on and. Yeah, and we can use that. That's definitely usable. All right, let's go to the next clip. Next one is the photo boot again. And let me skip forward a little bit. And they're having fun in front of the photo boot. Photo boot is a lot of fun. You know, I think everyone should have a photo boot at the event. I don't care what event it is, get a photo boot because it's a lot of fun. Okay. And you can hire me. I can do a photo boot. I, I got I got two photo boots. So um yeah, I can do photo boots. I enjoy it. I like photo boots. So let's go to the next clip. Okay. Okay, so this clip we are gonna this clip should be mute because I don't want you know anyone to hear whatever she's saying because these videos are are not edited and out yet they did a small edit for Instagram and I had it I I wish I had it now to show you but I guess I can show it in another video but um, I don't want to put stuff out that's not out yet from from the client that's not cool all right so everything here it's it's um let me play it again, see if I just, I think I just muted the sound. Okay, so I just muted the sound. Let's, let's just scroll to where, all right. So there was, there was, there was extreme, problem was they had the backdrop in the sunlight. Well, they didn't have the backdrop in the sunlight. They're on the roof, so the sun moves. So the, so in the beginning, the backdrop was fine, then the sun started move onto the backdrop. At the same time, Brittany wanted to say something. She wanted to introduce herself and all that, right? Brittany's the lady on the left, and this lady on the right is introducing her, but whatever she's saying is not important, the, the lady who's introducing her. So at that time, I was still adjusting the camera and trying to... Um, Brittany is in, in good exposure, but she, the lady who's introducing her, is not. So I didn't worry about her because I know they're not going to use her clip. We just want what Brittany is saying. So... Uh, let me scroll down to when Britney starts speaking, when she has the mic. All right, let's scroll down. Okay, so now Britney has the mic, and I'm recording with two cameras. I have a close shot and a wide shot. I think this was the more close shot. I'll show you the wide shot in the, another clip. So this is Britney, and she's talking about the product to everyone in the venue. Okay? And... I, I know I just zoomed in there because I wanted to get a closer shot, but remember I have two cameras. So the second camera is wide and static. So that camera is a safe shot. And this one, I could adjust and move around. They're not going to use the parts where I, where I just zoomed in because that's not good, right? They're going to use only where the shot is fine. Now, if I only had one camera, if I only had one camera shooting, then I wouldn't be able to zoom and do anything funny because then there's nothing to cut to. So because I had two cameras, I was able to, you know, um, zoom in because I wanted a closer shot because the other one had a wider shot. So I just had it like this and captured her. And she was just talking about it. All right. So this was one shot. And later on, I'll show you the second shot. Let's go to the next clip. Okay. So the next clip is we had to do... Uh, I had to do an interview with her. I had to ask her about five short questions. It was pretty easy. Um, so this one I actually had to rush because we had a time schedule 
and she's pretty popular. Everyone wanted to hug and kiss and all that. It was hard to get her away from from everyone. I, I finally convinced her, you know, you, you said this is a schedule and I want to get you to do this interview. And she's like, yes, yes, yes. And she came over and between getting her from where she, where she was to, to the interview spot, it took about, I don't know, 10 minutes <laughs> because she had to stop every minute. Anyway, so this was just one shot. This was the second angle. And I'll show you the first angle when I get to that. But this was just second angle. And this one is where she's not looking into this camera. She's looking into the second camera. So I was just, you know, getting a second angle, which I'm not, I'm not required to do. You know, they just want one angle, but I always go above and beyond and try to capture um, as much as I can. So um, this was the second shot. And you can see a lavalier pinned on her dress. And that is actually the Rode Wireless Go To, which is the same, um, which is the same audio I'm using for this video. So um, I really like it. I really like the Rode Wireless Go To, and um, I guess I'll talk about it in another video. So I'm using two cameras here: A7S, sorry, A7 Mark. A7 Mark III and um, Tamron 28 to 75, and the second camera was the A6400. I'm talking about Sony cameras, sorry, Sony A6400, and um, that had a 24 to 70. Okay, so let me just roll this clip. This was in real time. I gotta make sure it's muted. I think I muted it. Okay, it's muted. So let's just scroll forward. I was, she was laughing. I was asking her. I was asking her the questions, and she was answering it. And she was looking at the other camera. All right. So let's switch to the next clip. Okay. This is a shot of the band. I was telling you about. Um, I said the name of the band earlier. I already forgot the name of it, but I I said the name earlier. But this band was awesome. Definitely, if you have an event, you can hire these guys. They were awesome. This lady right there, she's her voice is whoa. She could sing, and the lead singer, the guy there also, he he did a good job. The whole band was good. Okay, I just did a slow motion shot here. There's no audio in this one. Um, I had a, another camera actually on the band, specifically that was just regular audio, no slow motion, nothing like that. You don't need slow motion if there's a band because you're not gonna hear the sound. All right, but this was just a, a quick clip that I shot. Let's go to the next clip. All right, all right. So this was a real time one, and this one has audio, but I'm not, uh, I'm not letting you hear the audio because, um, because they haven't released the video yet. Okay, let's go to the next one, and this is actually the photographer. And yeah, just just some some of these guys taking pictures with a photographer. Let me scroll forward, and this was the photo boot. I got over there to the photo boot. Let me see what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm. Okay, this is what I wanted to show. Um, people buy the photo boot, and I'm just panning from the logo um, to the people. Okay, and that's it. Let's scroll forward. Let's see if there's anything else. These guys are having fun. All right, let's scroll forward, and these guys are still there having fun. So, photo boot shots are good to get if you're in a, if you're at an event. And there's nothing going on. People are the photo booth. Go, go your yeah, videographer. Go by the photo booth and get some nice shots of people having fun. Because people are very animated in front of a photo booth, and they have on um, some of them have on um, masks and accessories and all that. You get good shots by the photo booth, so it's a good place to to go and get some shots. Um, let's go to the next clip. Okay, so she was, Brittany was getting herself ready to do. 
some portrait shots with a photographer and with me also and I decided to capture a shot of someone holding a phone so she can see herself um, get, getting herself ready so um, let's scroll forward let's see if there's anything good there yeah this is good you just need five seconds you know just five seconds of good footage and they can use because you know whenever you're looking at a whenever you're looking at a promo video they don't leave a shot on there for more than five seconds five six seconds you know they're not they don't leave a shot on there for long long day they, they give you a shot you see it it goes now the shot comes in another shot comes in that's how that's how editing goes in these type of shots okay um, so let's go to the next shot okay so now the photographer is taking photos of her and I'm, I'm on the on the side of the photographer also um, getting video of her um, that's the photographer's elbow you just saw I'm panning down let me see I think I'm trying to pan I'm trying to look up I like that hero kind of look up shot I like this type of shot I usually do it wider but I'm right next to the photographer I'm getting I'm panning left to right I'm getting some stuff here and then I'm gonna um, obviously switch it up and get some more stuff while he get his photos so he's he's in she's smiling she's in charge hands on the hips let me scroll I'm jumping forward now let's jump forward okay so I came back up to eye level and let's see let me jump forward again jump forward she just pulls in for, for photos right all right she's fixing her hair posing okay so this is the wider shot and this is what I would usually shoot with something like this so you can get the walls but the photographer is still taking photos so I'm not getting the shot that I want but I'm still shooting on the side you know trying to get something jump forward okay so now we have a walk in let's go back so now we decide to have a I tell her to walk walk to me I think the photographer tell her to walk and um, she's gonna walk and this is a good shot yep get it girl she's doing the runway walk and um, that looks good I think I got my chance to do a walk with her when the photographer was finished I think she did a okay she spun right there and I told her okay walk back and I'm gonna this time I was gonna walk with her so she walked back and then her assistant was in the back and I told her I need to get a shot and then we set it up I'm setting the camera up so it's shaking okay just setting it up I'm getting low I'm, I'm getting that hero type of shot there that I like I'm fixing the camera I'm fixing it tell her wait for me let me get a shot right making sure everything's in front tell her, okay let's go and I tell her don't look at the camera okay don't let the clients look at the camera and she's looking around she's happy she's walking and it's a great shot yes yes she's good very photogenic and um, she did a good shot and then she spun but I didn't know she was gonna spin so the camera was panning so I told her to do it again she was having fun yeah so I told her to do it again I told her to walk and then spin in the end so she started walking again I got an even wider shot which which I like much and she's coming and then she do the spin check it out excellent <laughs> yeah that was that was a good that was a good spin that was a good shot okay I think that was it for this clip let's go to the next one so this one this is actually one of the products and she wanted a shot of her um, spraying the mist in the air and that's what I got the photographer was doing it too 
uh, you see with slow motion, you can actually see the mist. If I wasn't shooting in slow motion, you actually wouldn't see the mist. You wouldn't see it at all. But in slow motion, it slows everything down so much that you can see. So this slow motion is actually 120 um, frames. And it, it, um, it conform it to 30 frames. So 20, 120 conform to 30 frames. So this is actually looking pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm zooming in. Obviously, as I said, we're not going to use the zooming in part because it doesn't look good. We're just using the part after I finish zoom. I wanted to get a close up. <laughs> yep. OK, let's go to the next one. Let me see if there's anything else in this clip I need to show. Okay, nope, nothing else in this clip. Okay, and we had her sitting next to her, her sign to get a shot. And she's there. Her family was there, her friends were there, her clients were there. It was a good, it was a good launch. I liked it. Let's go next. And we have the lead singer singing. Yeah. As I said, this band was good. She was good. I think one point she pointed at the camera. She looked at the camera and pointed it at. Let me see if it's coming up here. Nope. Nope. Did not. <laughs> so, oh, I wanted to get some shots of the band. So I got some shots of the drummer. And then I got of the guitar player and then I got the keyboard, the pianist. I, I was about to say the keyboardist, I don't think keyboardist is a word. The pianist. Pianist was getting it in. And I also got shots of the, the guys playing the the flute. Alright, let's switch now. Look like a beauty, work like a beast. I like it. Look like a beauty, work like a beast. Uh, what if they get one for a man? Look like a beast. Work like a beast. Okay, don't st don't steal that one. Look like a beast. Work like a beast. That I'm a genius. I'm, I'm just a genius. Okay, so this clip was. Um, remember, I said Britney has another brand called Butini. So Butini. I mean, Butini is um. Uh, brand that does makeup so it goes to weddings and different events and you hire them and they come and do your makeup so the brides makeup and the bridesmaids makeup and all that so that's what they do um, so I guess they were they had one of their makeup artists here at this event and they were just doing people's makeup for free I guess you, know, you use one brand to promote the other brand, which is great. Excellent. And uh, the edit for Instagram, they actually use this shot with the um, look like a beauty, um, play like a bee, something like that. Yeah, so I was just getting some of this shot here. All right, let's go to the next clip. Okay, okay, and that's the end of this folder. Let's go to the next folder. Next folder. And let's click play. Okay, next folder. Okay, this is it. And this is actually the shot of can be. Nope. Okay. Can be. Okay, this was okay, this was the white shot. Remember I told you I had two shots going? This was the white shot for this. So let's 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 go all the way down till where she was speaking. Not there, not there. Okay, so this went oh, this is the white shot. So I had this shot with her name in the background, and I had the other shot that you saw earlier, the close up shot where I zoomed in. So um, we had to move this backdrop down to the right. 
and you could see the light, the sunlight is still shining in from the left side. But thankfully, she was in the, um, Brittany was in the shade, which is what we want, and her name was in the shade, so that's important. And we didn't have much time to, to fix the, to move the backdrop, so it's kind of a rush thing, but I got the shot. I got the shot, and it works, and everything is good. All right, let's go to the next shot. Okay, so this is the next shot, and remember the interview I showed you earlier? So this was the second angle for the interview. All right, let me scroll down. I'm asking her questions, and then she's going to look into the camera, and she's going to be answering. All right. Uh, when you shoot in interviews, you want you want to frame in like I'm, I'm, I just paused the video. You want to frame in like this. You want them in like you know <clears throat> this kind of quadrant, right? Like either to the close to the far left or close to the far right, whichever one is your preference. Okay, so I have a on my left, far left, and um, this is standard when you shoot in interview, and it looks good. You know, I, I like it instead of putting them dead center. Um, of the video. I mean, obviously, dead center, there's time, there's a time and place for that also, right? But in this case, we want just um, them either far left or far right. So let's play some more clips, and she's talking about, I'm asking her questions, see, I'm asking a question now, and then she's going to look at the camera and respond. Okay? All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so this clip, this is actually a shot of the audience. So I had a camera right underneath the band. Um, so this camera was just facing the crowd. And, um, and that's it. I just wanted to get crowd reactions and people dancing and talking and all that. And this camera was really unmanned. I just put it there. I set the focus to manual and um, I let it do its thing. And capture whatever it can capture and that's it. So let's scroll in, get people by the bar, let's, let's, pan, let's go in again. Get people. So I, I periodically had to go and adjust the exposure because, as I said, we're on a rooftop, so the exposure can go up or down at any time. All right, so right now it's a little too dark. And let me scroll forward. Still a too, now I, I adjust the exposure, it's right. This is the photographer here getting some shots. All right, so you see I, I adjust the exposure. People are dancing and having a good time. The band was pretty well. All right. Okay. Let's go to the next clip. This is just another shot. And let's go to the next one. And ah, that's me. Let me pause right there. As you can see, let me go back a little bit. Let me play, pause. So now you can see me, I'm, I'm wearing all black. I have a, a monopod with a three-axis gimbal with a Sony a7 III and a Tamron 28-75. to And um, that's, that's my, my main setup. I, that's my main setup, okay? So let's play this clip. Let's see if we can scroll and see if we see anything interesting here. This is just the same crowd shot, people walking by and all that. Somebody standing right in front of the camera. <laughs> this is actually a song guy. He was pretty nice. Um, yeah, song guy was cool. And, and that's it. Let's go to the next clip. Okay, so that's it for that folder. So let's go to the last folder. All right, can see. All right, give me one sec here. I'm trying to get it to play. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. So this was um, 
this was top down shot. So this shot, um, I had a, a tripod high in the air, I had a step stool, and it was um, just recording the band. So I just left it there. I had to come and adjust the exposure periodically because obviously, we, as I said, sunlight is coming in. But this was just um, a static shot, static wide shot of the band playing. In case they needed, in case they needed it, I didn't have to do that, but I, I always go above and beyond. So for this event, I actually used three cameras. So I had the one I'm walking around with on the gimbal to capture just dynamic shot on whatever is going on. I had this one for the band, and I had the third one for the for the audience to see people walking by and what they're doing. So that's how I did it. That's how that's how it was shot. That's how it was captured. And that's the theme of, of this um, series of videos. So let's just move, skip forward and see. So now they're warming up. She's singing, yes. And exposure, you see, went down. And she's singing. And they had a, they had a light on her from the band that I didn't, I didn't really like. So you see the lights here on the right side? So on the left side, they also had a light. Yeah, I, I don't like when they, the lighting is just, you know, kind of messes with the video. So, let me see if there's anything else in this, in this folder. Next. I think that's it. Yep, I think that is it for... So that's it for this um, for this series here for this video. Um, that was um, Bia's product launch, and um, everything went well. The client was very happy with the with the clips that I shot, the footage. And this is not my my first time. I've done a number of product launches before, and um, you know you just got to be ready for whatever. You need to have your audio ready. You go to plug into the band. Um, you ask the, the sound guy from the band to, if he has a feed, they already know you, you're coming. Okay? And you can either go out to the speaker, which, he, which is what I did in this instant, or sometimes they tell you to go out of their mixer, the audio mixer. So everything with this went pretty well. Um, if you have any questions about how it was shot, if I left any information out, because this is actually my first YouTube video, so, you know, everything is not polished as yet, but um, I, I'm going to improve, I'm going to get better about, about doing these type of videos, you know, the more that I do. So, I hope this video was um, helpful, and if, if you learned anything, if you got anything insightful, please subscribe to the channel and support me, you know, I'm just... Um, I'm just a videographer and I'm, I try to help out anyone that I can help, okay? So like the video, subscribe, share it with anyone who will be interested in this type of content, okay? And um, what can I say? I will, I will see you in the next video.